Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We're talking about logic circuits now. We're talking on how to simplify logic circuits. Well, uh, logic circuit. We said there is maybe the table of truth. Uh, how to get this table of truth? Uh, there are several possibilities. Either we have already a table of truth. We get this to say, okay, here, this is the table of truth. Design a logic circuit making exactly this. Or uh, somebody is giving you a textual Textual description. Textual description. I want if this and this is happening, I want to have this switched and pa 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 and describing the logic with words. However, this has one minor or major, one major disadvantage. Words can be interpreted. So just because somebody, even if it's written down, you can understand it wrong. Uh, this is the this is the tricky part at textual descriptions. So, however, uh, these are more negotiations than than anything else. Yeah. So so you have to understand what shall happen when, all right? And in the end, you usually end up with this table of truth. Okay? And now we have learned. I think two videos ago, how to derive logic circuits from this table of truth. Then we have already a logic circuit, right? Right, yeah, this is true. However, it might be that there is a smaller logic circuit with less elements, which do does exactly the same, exactly the same, yeah? without, without defect, yeah? doing exactly the same. This can happen if some of these lines are redundant, you know. Some of these lines might end up that you realize, hey, we really switch this output only if x1 is 0 and x2 is true. Yeah? Only then and x3 and x4 doesn't really matter. Yeah? Might happen. Yeah? If you, you know, you, you just make one example. Yeah? Here's the table of truth. Yeah? But what we actually have, we have a textual description or we have somehow derived a table of truths and we realize, okay, we want to have here a one, we want to have here to true, we want to have here, 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 maybe here, 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 not here, not here. No. This, is, this is our task. We want to uh, right now... Um, Logic. Yeah? We want to derive a logic. So let's start how we we started. Yeah? So first line. Yeah? It was not x1 and not x2 and not x3 and not x4. Yeah? This was the first line. Yeah? Next line. What is this? This is x1 and x2 and not x3 and not x4. Huh? Next line, right here. All my colors I have, now I can show them. Not x1, and not x2, and x3, and not x4. It's this line. Huh? Next color. Here we have not x1, we have not x2, we have not x3 and we have x4. Ah, look, we have already here something. We have not x1, not x2, not x3 and x4. For these two ones, it doesn't really matter. Huh? The main thing is that the first three are not there. Huh? This, well, I'll show you. Uh, next color. Here we have x1 and not x2 and not x3. And x4. Ooh, there's also, oh, ooh, there's also something. Uh, next color. I hope I'm not running out of colors. x1 and x2 and not x3 and x4. Alright. Next color. Not x1, not x2 and x3 and ah, x3 and x4. This was wrong. Huh? Well, you see, you have to pay attention, because if you're not, 
errors will happen x1 and not x2 and x3 and x4 okay so this is actually what we derive and now i write this down yeah i will give them already order this one i like here already let's do a c another one this x1 not x2 huh we we'll see so it is not x1 not x2 not x3 not x4 huh? then we have or x1 and x2 and not x3 and not x4 uh, then we have or not x1 not x2 and x3 and not x4 oh there is something oh there is something i will say oh there is something and you don't know what i'm talking about but i will show you in briefly these two they are perfect Good. <laughs> now we have this transferred. And now I take from this and this. Yeah, I will simply exclude. Yeah, it's not x1 and not x2 and not x3. Yeah, and then and bracket. And here from the green one, from the light green, it's only x4. And then we have left here, or from the blue, it's x4. You see, here it's written, x4 is either there or not. Doesn't really matter. So this actually means x4 does not really matter. Yeah? So I have this term and have this term, check, check. And the good thing is, this here is 1. Huh? I can forget about this. What else can we do? We always have to find somewhere pattern here of these two. I can, I can actually or not x2 and x3 and x4. And what is left in the bracket is here not x1 or x1. This is also one. So I have these two terms as well. Uh, what can be done? Here somewhere not x. Not x3. Ah, here! Those two! Ooh, great! Yeah, we have here x1 and x2 and not x3. Yeah. And what is left is here from this one, not x4, four, not x4 again, or uh, x4. Good, so I have these two terms as well. And what is left, can I do here something as well? I can... get out x1 if I would like to. I will just write them down once more. Not x1, not x2, and x3, and not x4. And the orange term, the orange term, that's it. So let's just forget about this, which are one. Let's write it once again down. So if we not x1, not x2, and not x3. Or not x2, and x3, and x4. Or x1, and x2, and not x3. Hmm? Or, and let's just keep writing in black, because 
not x1 and not x2 and x3 and not x4 or x1 and not x2 and not x3 and x4. Let's see if we can manage something still if I if I get out here x3 let's see not x3 what is happening it's not x1 and not x2 or x1 and x2 or x1 and not x2 and x4 then we have this this and this or and here we have what can we not x2 and x3 it's x4 or not x1 and not x4 well i'm sure you can do better yeah but you see now yeah here we would need one a lot of a lot of different uh i'm not going to count it a lot of different uh logic elements and here i only need fewer yeah so we have already simplified things yeah by using the rules of of uh by using the rules of Boolean algebra. Yeah? Simply put them together, yeah? count, put them together, and and derive derive the logic circuits and simplify the logic circuit. That's it. Okay, simplify and simply and so on. It was that simple, yeah? You see, it, you need to pay a lot of attention. Here I even made a mistake. It's easily made a mistake. You forget somewhere is there a not and 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 all these numbers and everything looks equally and they have to find there are people if you're used to do this you're getting really good at this yeah if you really into logic circuits yeah i'm sure you see other stuff i'm not i'm not the expert here yeah i guess it's not i'm not, simply not used to yeah I am more the graphic guy and this is why I want to show you next time a method on how to do this in a more graphic way yeah? in a more in a in a way that you can see patterns actually it's seeing patterns in those logic yeah that you can see patterns easily or more easier easier more easier easier than than this approach with the formulas yeah? Next time we're talking about the Carnot fight diagram. What this is, next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.